In 2021, global energy-related carbon dioxide emissions grew to more than 36 billion tonnes, reaching their highest ever annual level as reported by the International Energy Agency. These emissions come from key materials and commodities that modern society relies on to sustain our crops and build safe and reliable infrastructure, such as steel, cement and fertilisers. While these materials and commodities are needed, we cannot live with the emissions produced. To avoid the catastrophic impacts of climate change, global warming will need to be limited to 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2050, according to the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. There is no one-size-fits-all solution, and globally, we will need to scale up as many climate mitigating options as possible to meet our sustainability goals. Carbon capture and storage, also known as CCS, is a suite of technologies that prevents large quantities of greenhouse gas CO2 emissions from being released into the atmosphere. CCS can also remove historic emissions from the atmosphere. The dual role it plays in mitigation and removal of emissions is what makes CCS such an important and versatile climate technology. CCS has been working safely and effectively since the 1970s, and over the last 50 years, more than 200 million tonnes of CO2 has been successfully captured and injected underground. CCS involves three major steps. Capturing CO2 at the industrial facilities point sources or directly from the air, transporting the captured CO2 by pipeline, ship or road tanker to a suitable storage site, and injecting CO2 into deep geological formations at carefully selected and safe sites where it is permanently stored. CCS provides the foundation for technology-based carbon dioxide removal, including bioenergy with CCS, and direct air carbon capture and storage where CO2 is captured and removed from ambient air. CCS can achieve significant emission reductions and is the only technology that can help to deeply decarbonise heavy industry and has emerged as an essential technology to meet climate targets. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, CO2 removal through carbon capture and storage is key to reaching 2050 international climate targets. There are currently 29 CCS facilities in operation today, with a cumulative capacity to capture and permanently store 40 million tonnes of CO2 per year. And there are well over 100 more CCS projects in various stages of development around the world. However, if we want to reach the Paris Agreement climate targets, today's worldwide installed capacity of CCS must increase more than a hundredfold by 2050. It is an ambitious task, but one that remains within reach with the right climate policy, funding and infrastructure supports in place. For more information, visit globalccsinstitute.com.